So you're thinking about moving to Springboro, Ohio, and you only have a $200,000 budget. Yes, I did say $200,000 budget. You can still get into Springboro, believe it or not, for under $300,000. And I'm going to show you today. We have a great tour scheduled. Wonderful weather. Three houses. One in the low 200s, one in the mid 200s, and of course one in the high 200s. It is, um, as I said before, a beautiful August day, low humidity, it's going to be about 80 degrees today. This is the perfect time of year to look at real estate in Ohio. We're starting our tour today at the Warped Wing Brewery, which obviously we've done before, but I love coming back here. It is one of my favorite places in all of Springboro. Most of this, well in fact all of it, uh, was built in the last five years. You can see the Springboro Community Theater right there. Um, of course, Warped Wing over here. And then there's some restaurants and a nail spa over here. And they're still putting new stuff out in this area. This is a wonderful place to come, though, and enjoy good craft beer and great smoked food. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm really excited today. Um, I'm actually doing this video at the request of one of our viewers. Yes, we do take requests. Um, I love those requests. Keep sending them in. We love doing these videos. But um, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get started on our first house, and I'll meet you there. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Springboro, Ohio, make sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Springboro. My name is Mike Wall. My team and I get emails and texts and calls from people just like you every single day looking to make the move to Springboro. And I got to tell you, we absolutely love it. So whether you're making a move in the next nine days or 90 days, it really doesn't matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Springboro. Okay, so here we go. Stop number one. We are in the Tamarack Hills subdivision here in Springboro. The house I'm going to show you right now is priced at $215,000. It was built in 1972. It has three bedrooms, two full baths. Uh, it's built on a slab. Uh, 1,355 square feet. There it is behind me, right here, which puts it at about $158 a square foot. The lot is 0.19, so it is a smaller lot. Uh, it does have a two-car garage, and there is a community pool right here behind me. Um, however, it is a membership-only pool, so you do have to have a membership to go to the pool, even though you live in the subdivision. Uh, but it is optional to own. Um, as I mentioned before, the house behind me, built in 1972, priced at $215,000. Three bedrooms, two full baths. Two car garage, uh, ranch style home here in the Tamarack Hills subdivision. Uh, so you can still get into Springboro here in the low $200,000. Um, one thing you will notice today is a lot of the homes um, you'll need to sacrifice a basement to get into that $200,000, $300,000 range, which isn't a big deal for a lot of people because, I mean, let's face it, with basements, uh, it seems like there's either a problem with water in a basement or there's going to be a problem with water in the basement. So, $215,000 budget, this might be your house. Let's go see another one.
All right, all right, here we are. Stop number two for today. We are in the reserves at Settler's Walk, one of my favorite communities. I've actually lived in two homes here. Built one of them. Uh, this house today that we're looking at is priced at $275,000. It was built in the year 2000. It's three bedrooms, two and a half baths on a slab, 1,348 square feet. Here you can see it behind me. Cute little front porch with some Cracker Barrel rockers. Yes, I did refer reference Cracker Barrel. Um, again, 1,348 square feet, uh, which puts it at about $204 a square foot. The lot size is 0.14. One really cool thing about this house, though, is that it doesn't have any rear neighbors. Um, and uh, that's always good for privacy, especially in a production-built neighborhood like Settler's Walk, where... There's a lot of houses here and they're very close together. The bathrooms here were remodeled in 2019. The house sits at the back of the subdivision. Settlers Walk in and of itself is in the north side of Springboro. So very accessible to uh, Austin Landing, which is a good shopping and dining area here, as well as 75 North, which takes you straight out to the airport. And you can be at the airport in about uh, half an hour and then also down to Cincinnati to watch a Bengals game in about 40 minutes. So great location here. Um, this house is for sale now for $275,000. So if you have a $275,000 budget and you're in Springboro, that might be your house. Let's go look at the next one. Here we are, stop number three for today. We are still in Settler's Walk. We're actually in the Waterside subdivision here at Settler's Walk. This is a condominium development. It is a newer development as opposed to where we were just at in the reserve, which was built mainly in the early 2000s. This particular condo that we're looking at today was built in 2021, and it is priced at $280,000. Two bedrooms, two full baths. And there you can see the building right behind me here. You have a first floor entry. There are no stairs here and you do get a one car attached garage. As I said before, two bedrooms, two full baths built on a slab, 1,322 square feet with an attached one car garage. Again, no stairs. This is a Wexner B floor plan. This was built by Fisher Homes and they are actually still building in this development. Uh, the starting price for one of these condominiums is $207,900. Another really cool thing about this particular condo here is, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to help you out with the camera here, but look behind me here, right here. There's a pond view. So all of these units here are built around a pond. So you can walk out on your deck and literally be looking out over the pond with a fountain uh, so enjoying a cocktail or a morning cup of coffee, just very peaceful back here. A lot of people love to live in a development like this who are busy professionals uh, or who just don't want a lot of lawn maintenance. There is an HOA fee here, which I think is around $240 a month, but it does include your trash and water. So if you have a $280,000 budget and you want to live in Springboro, this might be the perfect home for you. So remember... A picture's worth a thousand words. Video must be worth a million. I love doing these videos for one reason, and that's really just to educate you on your home search here in the Dayton area. My name is Mike Wall. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Tap the little bell for notifications if you're getting 
value from these videos and if you want to know everything about living in Springboro, Ohio or any of the surrounding areas, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or even schedule a Zoom call in the link below. We'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Springboro. Thanks again for watching.